You've heard of Newcastle. You might have even heard of the new Newcastle. But before all these castles, there was one other. Noob Castle. Noob Castle is just like Newcastle. He's got a shield to protect his teammates. He helps fix his town. And he can even create a fortress bigger than Newcastle. You thought Newcastle's wall was big? Well, this wall is a hundred meters wide. How big? A hundred meters wide. Now that, that's too big. I don't have enough cardboard for that. Nah. I'm out. Where are you going? Noob Castle. Well, where are you going? The... What happened to my intro? Newcastle? No, I'm Noob Castle. Your desk is in need of saving. It's disgusting. It's not that bad. Oh no, it's pretty bad. Take this. What? Oh. Hey, it's pretty cool. That's right, we have macro desk mats. I partnered with Epic Desk to make one of the coolest mats out there. The artwork is inspired by all these different characters that are in my videos, from Sports Boy to my pilot to Nerf Snake. It's all here and it's beautiful. The mat is huge, making it great for gaming. Look how smooth it is. My mouse just glides on this thing. The performance is immaculate. And these mats are gonna be limited edition, which means if you don't click the link in the description down below before the pre-order date is over, you may not get one before it's sells out and each limited edition mat is signed and numbered by the founder of epic desk so that way you know that your mat is legit and it feels like its own unique artwork and if you go to epic desk there are other amazing mats that you can look at seriously they're all just like pff, mind blowing did i just make an explosion noise with my mouth oh my god whoa that's so much better newcastle thanks you really are a hero don't thank me i'm just doing my job okay i'm gonna just go back to editing the video Okay, back to the video. Jackson Williams was once a top soldier at the IMC, but after realizing that the IMC is kind of the bad guy, he went AWOL. He knew that he and his sister Anita, aka Bangalore, would never be safe from the IMC, so he ended up faking his own death and used that opportunity to leave his life behind. Years later, Jackson changed his name to Lamont Craig and moved to a little town called Harris Valley. He got married, had some kids, everything was peaceful in this cute little town. They don't even have cops, they just have this guy named Newcastle. They're city's night. And Jackson got a job as the guy that cleans Newcastle's armor and stuff. But this particular Newcastle made some shady deals with some bad people who wanted him to join the Apex games and make them money, but he just couldn't do it and uh, got shot for it. And Jackson happened to be there when this Newcastle got shot and he tried his best to protect him from the mobsters, but ultimately ended up striking a deal with them. To protect Harris Valley and his family, he would finally join the Apex games as Newcastle. Also because the other Newcastle died, so, you know, somebody's gotta do it. So Jackson is in the Apex Games and needs to win to pay off his town's debts, while keeping his identity a secret from the IMC and everybody else, which was easily found out by his sister, but you know. But with every new season comes a bunch of new updates. We got a crab that we can fight on, the Spitfire is back on the ground, yay! The Mastiff is in the care package, and there's no new weapons or map. But ranked is way different, meaning a lot of people are going to be upset when they aren't in Diamond Plus anymore, because it's actually hard, which is a good thing since last season had the most Masters players ever. There's also these cool IMC Titanfall robots that you can fight on the map and get really sick loot from, and if you kill them all fast enough, you'll get a loot tick. The whole room closes in on you and it won't open until you finish fighting off all these robots, which means that people have already discovered ways to exploit this in the game, like trapping people in it with a trident. <laughs> what? <It's> Wait. <laughs> oh, let's go! It blocked them! It blocked them! Get in! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in! Oh my god, that was cruel! Oh my god! We're the, we're oh so my old. god, we're the wait a second. Worst or teleporting into the building with Ash. So that's Newcastle in a nutshell. But now that you know a little bit about him and what he brings to this season, let's learn how to play him. Shall we? Newcastle's tactical ability is Mobile Shield. It's a deployable drone that provides a shield for whatever direction it's facing, that can be commanded to move any direction you want it to, although its speed is 
kinda lacking. It's kinda like a one-sided moving Gibby bubble, but unlike Gibby's bubble, it can be destroyed. When you're close to it, you can change the angle it's facing to whatever direction it needs to be facing. It's a little buggy at times, but for the most part, it works. It's decent cover and is great for healing yourself up in a pinch. If you're getting shot up a lot, whip it out. It will save your life. Since it does move, you can use it to breach a room, even if it does take a little bit of time. You'll get there eventually. <laughs> it's a red part. It's a red part. You can't do anything about this. Get her, bro. While it does have a decent amount of health, smart enemies can focus it and break it pretty quickly, so don't expect to be invulnerable behind this cover, especially against attacks from above. However, the shield is separated into two pieces, a top half and a bottom half, that have their own individual health, so once the top half is broken, the bottom half will still cover most of you when you're crouched. Newcastle's passive is Retrieve the Wounded. Newcastle uses his own knockdown shield to drag down allies and revive them. It's a great revive that can be used mid-fight, and if played correctly, it can save your squad mates in bad positions. He's really the best combat medic. The best combat medic. The best combat medic. The, the best, best combat, combat medic. medic. Just know that the shield can break if shot at and will need time to recharge if it's broken completely. Also, in case you were thinking of dragging your teammate off a cliff, respawn knew you would think that and made sure that the only person that falls off the cliff is you. And I found this out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, okay. No, no, get... <laughs> Newcastle's ultimate is Castle Wall. As Newcastle, you can leap in and create a fort that has electric fences built in front of it. Wait, this is like a port of fort from Fortnite. Apex needs to stop copying Fortnite all the time. Ugh. What makes this ultimate really cool is that Newcastle can target a teammate to leap towards, and he can go really, really far. Or even crazier, he can go really, really high up. As long as your teammate gives you a line of sight, you can reach them. For the most part, it has a limit. You can't just go across the map. You can use this ultimate as an escape tool if you're getting shot at and you're a little bit behind or as a means to revive a squad mate with ease or just use it to take a strong position from an enemy and win uh, I, okay. uh! that's how you that's how you take the high ground from them Yo, I'm not gonna lie, taking the high ground was kind of fun. <laughs> like, that was playing. But if you're just a selfish Newcastle main, you'll probably just use it as a movement option, even outside of fights. Don't be that type of Newcastle main, come on. But the coolest part about his ultimate is how it turns areas with little to no cover, especially in the end game, to a place where you have an advantageous position. A well-placed Newcastle ultimate can really turn the tides of a battle to your favor. So me and Noob Castle, I guess, are kind of friends. I mean, he came into my house. So that means you can trust me when I give you these pro tips. Number one, give your Newcastle the best knockdown shield so that his revives are the strongest they can possibly be. There's even an indicator on his UI showing what knockdown shield he has. If you see your Newcastle has a white knockdown shield, fix that. It'll save your life, trust me. Number two, on top of that, you have to give a gold bag to Newcastle. He now has arguably the best revive in the game and you can pull off some insane revives right in front of an enemy if you have a gold bag. Keep turning. You're nuts. They're mad. They're molding. Winnable. No! no! Number three. You can put the shield on a trident. Oh! Yeah, but what's even cooler is that you can put a heat shield on your mobile shield, which can make moving and healing through the storm a bit easier. Please respawn, let this always be a thing, don't patch this. Number four, Newcastle's ultimate can block doorways and entrances, making some areas of the map even harder for enemies to attack. If you have your ultimate and you have an optimal position, use it to block entry points. Newcastle is a great new legend that adds a lot to the story, and he is also insanely fun to play. I genuinely believe that he fits my playstyle quite well, since he's really a support character that wants to play a bit slower. But how is he for noobs? For noobs, I would say he's medium difficulty to play. His kit isn't too complicated, but there's some neat tricks with his ultimate and tactical that will need a bit more practice to master.
But what do you think? Do you think Newcastle is easier to play? Do you think Newcastle is hard to play? Do you think Newcastle is one of those new legends that is super broken and needs nerfs? Or is kind of in the meh side and needs buffs? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, everybody, I gotta go find Noob Castle and give him some of his stuff that he left in my house. Like, there's just a bunch of cardboard everywhere. So, uh, I'll let the voice actor of Newcastle, Gabe Kunda, say the line. Hey, I'll catch you later, you noob. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> that was like so spicy. 